Hi, and welcome to the Wi-Fi's Neo4j Explorer. I'll give you a brief introduction of the tool. The Neo4j Explorer is a tool to interactively analyze the database schema, explore the database, and create nice visualizations of your data. You can access the tool online at live.yworks.com slash neo4j minus explorer. Okay, so the first time you open the application, you see the login screen. You can either sign in using your Google account or just create an account here. So next thing you see uh, is the database connection screen. Uh, so first we have to establish a connection. Currently I'm running my database locally on localhost and um, just enter your database URL here and your credentials below like this. Okay. So now the tool connects to the database and um, what we see first is um, some tips. If you're a first time user, then I would really recommend to read uh, through tips, but for now I'll just close them. So here we see the database schema. The schema is basically the structure of the data. Each node in this view represents a label of the nodes in the database. We have four different kinds of labels in this data set officer, entity, intermediary, and address. Each relationship represents uh, a relationship type in the data. So if you're wondering, um, this data set is the well-known Panama Papers uh, graph. So in this case, um, you see that an officer can be connected in the database to an address with a relationship of type registered address. An officer is also connected to entity with two different relationships. Um, if you want to know uh, which type they are, just click it and you get an info box here. And you can uh, view the type. Once one is uh, officer of, the second one is called registered address. If you want to know which properties a node, can, a node with a certain label can have, you can select it to get a list of the properties. So, for instance, um, an officer has a name. Um, and you also see uh, if there are indexes on any of the properties. For instance, here is an index on name. So this is a pretty simple schema. Maybe you have a more complex schema with more uh, nodes. So in order to get a nice view of the graph, you can run several layout algorithms to auto, uh, to auto arrange the schema. For instance, you can select a hierarchic layout like this, or maybe a radial layout like this, but for now we'll just stick with the organic layout. Okay, so this was the schema view. Let's continue with actual exploration of the graph data. We select the graph tab and start with an empty view because we haven't loaded any data yet. So we'll just uh, start by searching for a node. In my case, I'm interested in a company. Um, so I just select entity here and name. So um, this company goes by the name of Shine Smart. So, okay, I get the result here and if I click it, I see all the properties this node have, and I click import, and it's imported into the graph. So now we have the node loaded into the graph. We could also display the properties here. And yeah, we, we could either uh, load more nodes um, by searching for them, or we could uh, explore the neighborhood of this node. So this is what we're going to do. Right click the node and you see different options here. You can either load all the neighbors, which are five in this case, or you could uh, just load the incoming or the outgoing relationships. So in this case, I'm just loading all the neighbors and you see, aha, okay, there's an address. Um, that's a, the address this entity is registered at and we can select it. It's on the Virgin Islands. Okay, so if we take a look at this address, we can see there are roughly 30,000 um, incoming relationships. 
So obviously this address is used by a lot of companies or by a lot of persons. So maybe we want to see uh, which other uh, entities are registered at this address. So we'll just um, load the 20 next incoming relationships. Okay, so there's a uh, whole lot of officers at this address, obviously. So in this case, maybe we want to use a hierarchic layout that's better suited for this kind of graph. So we see, aha, there's a list of officers that all point to this address. But maybe we aren't interested in the officers at all. We have a lot of officers in the graph, which actually we don't want to see. So we can just right click one of the officers and select hide label officer like this and all the officers are gone. Can uh, update the layout so it looks nicer. Um, okay, now we created um, a hidden filter for, for officers. You can see that in the hidden items tab on the left side. Um, you see here officer is hidden. You could uh, erase that filter again. Um, if you switch to the schema view now, you also see the officer node in the schema is gone. Um, but maybe we uh, still want to see it in the schema. So you can select show hidden nodes in schema and you still see it, but it isn't there in the graph. Okay, so, but maybe we still want to see one of the officers. So in this case, um, I'll just remove the officer filter again. And okay, the officers are here again. So maybe we want to see one of the officers, maybe this one. So I'll right click it again and select pin node and it gets a little pin icon here. And now I hide the label officer again, but one, the one officer we pinned stays here. So basically you can pin nodes um, on the graph um, to make them stay there at all times. You can do the same thing with relationships. So now we have four different kinds of nodes in the graph. We have intermediary nodes, officer nodes, address nodes, entity nodes, but they all kind of look the same and it's hard to distinguish them. So this is, uh, this is where styling comes in handy. We open the style bar, tips again, um, and you see here's a list of templates. Currently there's ju just one that applies to all nodes, but we can add another template. And um, yeah, here you can um, specify the label to which this template applies. So we want to style officer first and uh, click the template to open the template editor. And now we want to all, all officer nodes to be green like this, for example. And also we want the name to show up front. So we don't have to click the node each time um, to get the details, but we want the important properties like name and country to show directly on the node. Okay, so um, the officer becomes green and we see the country and the name here directly on the node. So now I've created templates for all node labels and we have a nice graph here. So maybe we uh, want to export this graph into an image file so we can use it somewhere else. So just hit the export button here and you can export it either as PDF or PNG. Um, just hit PNG here. And yeah, we get a nice exported view of the graph you can use, for instance, in a Word document or somewhere else. So these are the basic features of the Neo4j Explorer. I hope you've enjoyed this small tutorial and have fun playing with your data.